Invoices are the one thing your business can't do without. You need them when you want to request payment from your customer. That's why creating them should be easy peasy and most importantly, free of charge. So how do you create an invoice on Flutterwave? Here's how. Log into your Flutterwave for Business dashboard. Navigate to Payments on the left panel of your dashboard and click on Invoices. Next, click on Create an Invoice. Here you have to add some information about your business. The company name and email address field will be pre-filled based on the information you provided when you created your account. There's an optional part where you can provide your billing information, including your address, state, city, and zip code. You can also upload your logo on this page to give it a more professional look. Once you're done uploading the logo, click continue to move to the next page. Here, you will add your customer's information. If they are an existing customer, you can choose from the list of customers and automatically their name and email address will come up. However, if this is a new customer, click add new customer and you will move to a new page to add all your customer's details like name, email address, and phone number. Once you're done, click Save Customer and you'll be redirected to the previous page. Here, you can now select the new customer you just added. There's an option to add another email address. This is useful if you need to copy someone else. You can also check the box that gives you the option to send the invoice to the customer's WhatsApp. There's an option where you can provide your customer's billing information, including their address, state, city, and zip code. Click continue to move to the next page. Now, this is where you will share all the information about the service offered, like the price, due date, tax information, and more. You can start with the invoice title. Next, add the date when the payment is due. You can also set multiple reminders before on and after the due date. Next, choose the currency. Now add the description of the service rendered, the quantity and the unit price. You can also add another item if you offered other services. Once you're done, you will see the subtotal amount. If you want to reward a loyal customer, there's an option to give a discount. You can also add tax, either a flat rate or a percentage. You can also add a shipping fee if delivery was involved. Finally, there's a field for notes. Here you can add a note to your customer. It could be a thank you note or any important information you have to share with them. Once you're done with the note, click send invoice. Once you send it, your customer will receive it via their email and WhatsApp if you enable the WhatsApp option. And with that, you've created and shared your invoice. Once your customer receives the invoice, they can view the link and immediately make payments. Use Flutterwave invoices to give your business a professional look. And here's to creating more invoices.